Hi folks, this is All The Fruit, and today I found a new, extremely strange banana in Germany. Well, in the supermarket there were advertised as snack bananas. This is one of the names that are being used for small bananas in Germany, because unlike many tropical areas, the Germans are used to big giant Cavendish bananas. On the box, it said... Pisang Mas, Baby Banana, Ecuador. Hmm. I mean, okay, there is some chance that the box was reused from some other bananas. This is not too unusual in this supermarket. It's one of the big supermarket chains in Germany. Well, I looked at those things and thought, those don't look like Pisang Mas or Pisang Emas. Pisang Emas or Pisang Mas... The name literally translates to golden banana. It's a very popular banana in Southeast Asia. And although like pretty much every other banana, it can be used for frying, it's also popular for raw consumption. This here is not something a Southeast Asian would call Pisang Mas. Well, Mas or Emas means gold, golden, and it refers to the golden color of the skin and the inside of the banana. At first I thought, well, those are a little bit unripe, but Pisang Emas also has another feature. The bananas are really thick and plump, like little balloons which are completely inflated. You hardly see those ridges. Those here are not thick and plump. They're actually pretty angular, pretty edgy. Shape-wise, the exact opposite to Pisang Emas bananas. And with this size, I mean, yeah, if they were teeny tiny, I made a video recently about teeny tiny Pisang Emas bananas. Some were just about this size. But they were also on a very small bunch, so I'm pretty sure they were from a small undernourished plants. Those are quite a good length for Pisang Emas bananas, so they should also be well nourished. I was pondering whether to buy them, I decided probably I should buy them, and then I touched some. And <coughs> they're actually pretty soft. Not completely soft like a completely ripe banana, but they are pretty soft. Actually, just by bringing them home carefully, I bruised them a little bit. Okay, a Pisang Mas has a very thin skin and it bruises easily. But it's also called the golden banana, golden skin and golden interior. And those are clearly green. I mean, Ecuador, maybe they have some other stain of this banana. Then I couldn't wait for the video, so I opened the banana. The inside is quite golden, actually. The skin is quite thin. And then when I tried this thing, it was quite soft, but also tasteless. It tastes basically like an unripe banana when you take away most of the astringency. It tastes mostly like a cucumber. You know, when you bite into an unripe banana or into the skin or into those little stalks of the bananas... You taste the stringency and also you taste the cucumber-like flavor, which is different from normal ripe banana flavor. This thing tastes like this cucumber-like flavor of unripe bananas, but there is not much astringency here. It is possible, of course, that this banana, that those bananas were picked extremely underripe, and then didn't ripen properly, but ripened somehow. But why are they already softish? Well, still grass green. There is There are a couple here which are starting to turn yellow a little bit, but basically the bunch and also most of the other, well, the hand and most of the other hands in the box had this green color and were soft. And the inside is totally soft. It even has some sweetness, okay. 
But this animal is a really tasty banana. Folks, a really sweet, tasty banana. So I'm really at a loss here. Is this a normal pizza animal? And it was not treated right? Or is it something different? So I'll leave those. I hope the process will not be too bad. And I'll wait till they are yellow. And then I'll continue the video. Unless, of course, I'm too lazy or eat them or forget them. And then, in this case, this is all you're gonna get.